Whoa, that looks amazing. No. No? So tight. All the rest. I did not miss these at all. The Spring Summer 2023 collections have debuted. I didn't shut this door. The Spring Summer 2023 collections have debuted. <laughs> the trends have been reported on, and there is nothing new. And I know this is always the case, fashion is always circulating, but it's become more apparent to me than ever because in my 34 years of life on this earth, I have actually worn the trends that are trending now previously. Like I feel like this is the first time where I've actually worn everything and it's not just a reference that I saw in the past, it's a reference I actually felt in the past. So these aren't really trends that are gonna come and go. They're just gonna take a seat for a little while and then you're gonna bring them back in and reinterpret them in a new way to make them feel more current. For example, Kate Moss. This is her in the 90s wearing a flower corsage choker looking so cute. And then here it is in 2023 in the runway collections and all over Instagram. Vess have been having a moment for a while and here's Kate Moss again in the 90s and then in the 2000s. Here they are in the 2023 runway shows and on Instagram. Skinny jeans are coming back in again and I think I still have mine somewhere. Do these still fit me after having a baby? No, but style them this way and they're the late 70s, early 80s. Style them this way and they're 2010, style them this way, and they're 2023 Celine. Do you see what I'm getting at? A lot of these items you probably already have in your closet, or you could find them secondhand. All you need to do is style them a little bit differently. Some of the trends I'm interested in finding or participating in this spring summer 2023 is the cargo pants, denim on denim, maxi skirts. I really want to find a denim maxi skirt particularly. Oversized blazers are still here, but I also saw a lot of fitted silhouettes, which is really interesting and different. Metallics, especially silver. We saw this in clothes, bags, shoes, leather bomber jackets, either oversized or cropped. Big bags, which is really refreshing to see because it's been all about the tiny bags lately. And as a mom, I have a lot to carry, so I'm happy that there are more options of these out now. Elevated basics, so tank tops, strapless tops, basic t-shirts are in again, but did they ever really leave? And the shoe trend that I'm really into is the Mary Mary Jane's. Key colors I saw on the runway are red, green, purple, yellow, white, and black. Like layered black pieces for the spring summer. So those are the concepts I'm interested in and what I'm going to be looking for today when we're secondhand shopping. I'm also going to do secondhand baby clothes shopping for my son, which I'm really excited for. At the end, I'm going to do a try on haul slash style them with some of the items I already have in my closet. So let's go shopping. First, we're starting at Green Ladies Green Little, which is a consignment shop in Hong Kong for women's and kids clothes. I really like how much thought they put into their customers' shopping experience with quotes that make you pause before you purchase. And insist to have the fitting room to prevent the impulse buying. Wow, well, you know? the opposite of what you feel in dressing rooms at, at other shops. They're yeah. like, everything you put on, they're like, whoa, that looks amazing. The change room hooks dedicated to your decisions. Yes. Second thought, no. And price tags stating textile industry statistics as the main focus rather than the price, which is a smaller secondary focus. They put the thought in to make you think the whole time. Everything is well organized in colors and styles. Uh, my first try on. So it's easy to find what you're looking for. <laughs> it's different than anything I've had. <laughs> I'm thinking about what's in my closet and how I would style it. This works with the cargo trend. It feels a little bit snug here. I'm a little bit self-conscious about this spot after giving birth. It's not a big deal, but I just, if I don't feel confident wearing it, I won't wear it that much. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. Okay. I'm going to grab these two. Mm -hmm. I know that you're looking for some damn Yeah. So we've got oh, that's some, cute. Yeah, a few of the accessories. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is so unique. I love it. Next up, we have Hula. If you're looking for secondhand designer clothes, this is the spot to go to in Hong Kong. This is our shopping central on Hollywood Road, and you can also shop online. 
thehuda.com. They also have a giant warehouse with further discounts in Quarry Bay, and a lot of the items they sell are actually new with tags on them. They've organized a lot of their clothes by color too. Oh, I wore this one. <laughs> Remember? Oh, they're skinny jeans. Those are so cute. <laughs> I honestly love everything in this shop. They're really good at curating items. I'm like on a hunt for specific things for this video, but if I was just like exploring and trying new things, there would be a lot of stuff. I decided on a light jacket that I think I can wear a lot during Hong Kong spring and fall. <laughs> Gasp. Is it your size? 35 and a half. Oh, jeez. I love them. Can I see? Because maybe the previous person broke them in. No. No? No. <laughs> it's nice because it's not really like a jacket jacket. Like it's a, it's a sweater. Oh. Yeah, it's like a... A swacket. It's not heavy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> next at Retycle. Retycle is a resale platform that caters to kids wear uh, from baby to 14 years old and also maternity wear, gear, toys. Uh, basically we're trying to tackle any type of temporary use product as kids outgrow absolutely everything they use and keep those items in circulation for as long as possible. This is their studio where you can schedule an appointment. So beforehand I had a quick look and told them last night the items that I like so that um, so you can do that ahead of time or you can find something here and then they can go grab it for you, right? Yes. You've got toys, you've got screens, pretty much everything. Yeah. My son, oh, and bottles of drinks. <laughs> it's a really nice stress-free place if you want to shop and try on clothes with your kids. They also have an online shop that I browse frequently. I get most of Levi's designer clothes from here. This is the exact same. Oh my gosh. Thank oh, you. Yeah. I love this color on Levi, so gotta get this. Everything is so cute. We're now at the famous ladies market in Hong Kong where you can find a little bit of everything from phone cases to gadgets, suitcases, and it's really popular for knockoff bags. But if you walk deep inside, you'll find a very uh, popular local thrift shop called B and G. So tight, all the racks. Yeah, every time I go through something, it turns. You move it with your body. Stuff. Taylor, I've been waiting for you <laughs> right as soon as I yeah. woke up. There's so many. <laughs> it's about like seven, seven US dollars. No choices, okay. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah. But I don't know if it will fit me. Wrap it around your neck. Right. Does it? No. Oh. But I have my hair too. Oh! Just barely. Can I squeeze my body? Yeah, maybe if the waist if it goes out. Yeah. I think I found my maxi skirt. Woo! Yay! Cool, cool, cool. I did good. I got a, quite a few things. Uh, I bought some stuff online too. Let's start with this jacket because there's quite a funny story to it. Actually, it's a little bit sad and unfortunate for me. I found the perfect oversized bomber online on the Real Real. It's from Ralph Lauren and I spotted it in the men's section. Usually when I find something I like, I put it in my wish list. I think about it for a few days. I'll have 10 to 20 different tabs open for online shopping at once with all different carts that I usually don't purchase in the end. It's a fun activity for me. It's my way of window shopping without leaving my home. Anyways, I went back to get this jacket because I couldn't stop Stop thinking about it and it was gone. I was so mad at myself for not just grabbing it because I knew I would love it and I knew I would wear it with so many different things. So I started looking for another one like it, couldn't find it, 
And a few days later, I received a package and this was inside. I bought it and I forgot that I bought it. Mom brain is so bad. I can't remember anything if it doesn't have to do with my son. So anyways, turns out the leather bomber jacket of my dreams is mine. A few other things I got online is this yellow floral slip dress from Reformation, which is looking quite short. This white vest, this button up with some stripes. I've really enjoyed secondhand shopping for shoes lately. So these are a Celine pair of Mary Janes that I got in uh, silver, which is a very neutral color. It can go with anything. It also has some gold detail. So this one, yeah, these literally can go with so many things. I also grabbed these red Manolos. Aren't they so pretty? Secondhand shoes are so comfy. Someone did all the work in breaking them in for you and they just fit like a dream instantly if you get your right size. So these are great. And then another item where people will do your work for you is buying jeans. So I got these, they're silver light jeans. I've been seeing these everywhere on Instagram lately. A lot of influencers are wearing them, so I've been wanting to try them without spending a whole lot on them, and they fit amazing. There's actually a lot of secondhand pairs available online if you look. I think that's it. I think it's time to do a try-on haul, and this time I usually do a try-on haul to music for these videos, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna explain why I'm putting these items with certain items, just so that you can get more inspiration from what you have in your closet, just in case you have something kind of similar. So I've got this red jacket. It's quite fitted and it has a very elegant silhouette and it's a little bit formal. So my immediate thought is to juxtapose it with some very casual baggy jeans. And then I wanna bring back a little bit of that delicate elegance with my pointed toe slim back heels. For the bag, I'm gonna go with this. It's also casual yet chic and I really like the chain detail and the way it matches the buttons. And this is a complete look. This jacket would also look great with a slimmer leg. You can wear it closed or open. You could even go for a full monochrome look with a matching skirt. I actually saw a bunch of these short sleeve tweed jackets with matching skirts on the fall, winter 2023, 2024 runway collections. So I feel like I'm a little bit ahead with this. Another item I grabbed is this red midi skirt. I immediately want to do a full red monochrome look because I saw a lot of that and I want to give it a try. I'm going to put it with a red tank top. I think a boxy t-shirt would also look good and give it a really nice interesting silhouette. I'm going to throw on these again. And I think I'm going to tie a sweater on. So we've been seeing a lot of this and this being really popular. But now I've been seeing some of this, like a little bit to the side. And I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna try breaking this up with a little bit of a black belt. Can I help you, sir? Oh my goodness! You wanna do mom's fashion show? Five seconds for the demo. this striped button down and some baggy jeans again. Let's belt it. I think I want to crop this jacket. I want it to go to about my hip area. Let's just pretend it goes there for now. I think I'll go with black boots. Drawing from the gold detail in the jacket and my belt. I think I'm going to do no necklace. Keep it looking more casual. Just had the lunch break. Uh, this is taking forever to film. Now it's starting to thunderstorm, so Rosie's scared and is sticking to me. Um, so <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> it's a no. Maybe I can style it though, so I can show you what I would do with it. Oh, we're in. <laughs> oh no 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 fighting. No t shirt is on. Jacket. I'm gonna go with silver because of the silver buttons on this jacket. Oops. Bag. And a scared poodle. This look is done. 
This would also look really cute with running shoes. This dress is way too short for me. Next, let's go back to my oversized bomber. It can go with so many different outfits, but I think what I really like with it is the combination of some baggy jeans, a tighter t-shirt, or even a crop top. This bag. So denim on denim on denim on denim is trending. And if this sort of thing isn't really your cup of tea, I'm gonna tell you ways that you can style it to break it up and make it a little bit less my first suggestion is to try showing a little bit of skin. It makes it look a little bit more effortless. And then I would suggest to try jewelry. Here we have silver, this is gold. You can also try adding a layer. A simple white or black t-shirt looks really nice and you could wear it with your shirt open, buttoned up just on the bottom or up as much as you want. Adding a belt will help to break things up. You can also add another layer on top, like a blazer or a trench coat, a leather jacket, and or you could add a pop of color with a bag. So you could do one of the things I mentioned, or two or three, or if you want to try them all, you're going to get something that looks like this. It's less intense, right? You can also try it with a skirt or shorts or different colored or patterned denim for some contrast. And lastly, I'd like to mention this jacket, which I didn't get this time, but it fits in with a metallic trench. It's from one of my favorite secondhand shops in Hong Kong called Redress. I love them because they have a great selection. They also have these bins that you can sort through, uh, which is where I found this, and it's actually from Madge. And then they also do a lot to give back to the community. They do this sustainable design show where they fly finalists into Hong Kong from all over the world to compete against each other, and then they have this big award ceremony. I actually hosted it for the past couple of years. It's kind of like a reality show. This series is really eye-opening, and they're really great mentors to young designers to help make the future more sustainable. So I will link them below in my description box along with all of the other shops you saw today. If you ever visit Hong Kong, please go and see them. And some of them actually ship internationally as well. So uh, yes, thank you so much for shopping with me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the spring summer trends and got some inspiration of ways that you can style pieces you already have in your closet to make them feel new and fresh and current again. <sighs> This video is finished. I did it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.